This is a walkthrough of the Teaching Textbooks 4.0 version. I'm in Math 3 and I'm working on an iPad. To get started, I'm going to tap Work on a Lesson. That takes me to a screen that allows me to select the lesson that I want to do. I'm going to do Lesson 52, and so I just tap View the Lesson. Lesson 52, Adding Strings of Bigger Numbers. That takes me to the lecture, which I just paused. Notice that around the lecture there's an entire scene, a wallpaper, that has a turtle in it. The buddies in the 4.0 take up the entire wallpaper behind the notepad. They don't just sit on a little box. So this is a turtle wallpaper. I'm going to show you more about the wallpapers in a second. But for now, I'm going to, instead of continuing with the lecture, I'm going to go to the first problem by hitting the right arrow. Here you need to add 65 plus 34 plus 27. This little keypad on the bottom right is the way that you enter in the answer when you're working on a mobile device. Instead of using the device's keyboard, we created our own little keypad because it just takes up less space. I'm going to enter in a wrong answer. Nice try, but that's not it. Notice the Notepad flips, and this sticker comes up that says nope because I missed it. There are lots of neat stickers that appear each time a student answers a problem. I'm going to try this one again. This is a problem that gives me two chances. Here you need to add 65 plus 34 plus 27. And I'm going to miss it again. Now I get a different sticker, and it tells me the correct answer, and I can watch the solution. Everything is set up correctly for us to add these three numbers. We have all the numbers, put the 12 below. And I just fast forwarded through a little bit of that, but the solution shows how to do that problem step by step. In the upper right, there's a controls button. And if I press that, I have an option to, to go to the lecture and problems screen. What this does is allow me to navigate to any problem in this lesson that I want instead of having to navigate only by using the left or right arrows. I'm going to go to problem 9. Here you need to add 74 plus 23 plus 18. Now instead of just figuring this out and entering in the answer right here, I'm going to go to scratch pad, which is another choice under controls. And what this is, is t it takes the problem and moves it to a scratch pad. I can draw on this with my finger, and what I really want to do is I'm going to work the problem out right here on the tablet. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 8 is 15, so that's a 5, and carry a 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and so I get 115, and I can just enter in the answer right here on the scratch pad screen. And I can move this around in case it was on top of the answer that I came up with whenever I was using my finger. Good job. And so the scratch pad is just a neat feature that you can use whenever you're on the go if you don't have any paper. And uh, it just makes it easier to work out the problem right on the actual device. Now let's go back to the student home screen. I'm not going to spend too much time on the ebook, but I'll just show it to you really fast. The ebook is pretty similar to the 3.0 ebook, but it does have some improved features. The search feature is better than the 3.0. Here's the table of contents and the index. Now let me go to the wallpaper book. You've already seen the turtle wallpaper, and there are lots of others. We're on the Buddy tab, so this only includes the Buddy, the wallpapers that have Buddies in them. If you go to this tab, there are lots of other wallpapers that are just static. They don't have any animated Buddies. But you may have noticed that some of these are locked. The reason for that is you start the course with some Buddies and some static wallpapers, but then as you do lessons, you unlock new ones. And so this gives the student an incentive to do lessons. See if I scroll down far enough here on the static wallpapers, then I start to see some locked wallpapers there. 
Now let's go to the sticker book. The stickers are the little things that show up on the back of the notepad whenever you answer a problem, either right or wrong. And these work like the wallpapers. You start with a lot of stickers, but then as you do lessons, you unlock new stickers. And then you can check out the stickers that you've already won on this screen. Let's go to the hint sound settings. This allows the student to turn on or off certain hint sounds. Maybe there's a sound that just bugs the student, and so they can go in and turn it off on this screen if they want. I'm going to, instead of going into the gradebook here, I'm going to go into the gradebook on the parent side. So I'm just going to log out as the student and log back in as a parent. This is the parent home page. Now I'll just get into the gradebook. The gradebook's pretty similar to the 3.0 gradebook, but there are a few changes. Notice on the upper left, there's an overall course average. We always had an average for each lesson, but now we also have an average for the entire course. So you can just see that at a glance. On the upper right, it tells you how much time is left on your subscription. On the right, there's a last work done column, which just tells you the, the date that the student last did work on that particular lesson, for those of you who need that information. If I want to get into the details of the lesson to see which problems the student got right or wrong, I just hit view, and this shows the student's grade on each particular problem. And notice that there's an E button here next to each of the problems. That enables you to edit that problem if you need to change the grade, or maybe you want the student to do that problem again. And then back on the original screen, the D buttons allow you to delete all of the grades for that particular lesson. Maybe the student didn't do very well on that lesson. You want them to do it over again. So you can just delete the, all the grades in, in one lesson with a single with a single button. Now let me go into change student settings. This allows you to control the hints. Maybe you want to turn off the hints on the regular assignments or on the quizzes or, on, or, or, or both. And uh, you can also turn on or off the animations and sound effects that go with the hints. Maybe those are distracting to your student. You can control the second chances. You can turn those on or off for uh, regular assignments or quizzes. And you can even turn off the scratch pad if you think that's distracting your student. Over here on the right, this allows you to control the pacing of your student as they go through the course. Maybe you just want them to do one lesson a day. So you can turn that on and, and select one lesson, or you can allow them access to two lessons per day, or three lessons per day, or you can turn it off entirely, which gives them access to every lesson in the course if you don't want them to be paced at all. If we go over here to the wallpapers and, set and stickers, tab. This allows you to control the wallpapers. You can turn those off if you want. You can turn off just the ones with animation or the static wallpapers. You can turn everything off and you have controls, control over the stickers as well. If you think that they might be a distraction, you can turn them off. Here's the Wi-Fi and data tab. The 4.0 downloads uh, lessons over the internet and so you can con control uh, whether to do that on, on Wi-Fi only. You do not have to always be connected to the Internet in order to use the 4.0. It allows you several days access when you're offline. Uh, and so that's really neat because whenever, again, when you're on the go, you may not have uh, an Internet connection, but you can still do lessons. I'm not going to go into the Manage Subscriptions uh, menu. That obviously gives you information about your subscription, and it's also where you access the pause feature. You have three months pause time. It's a 12-month subscription, but you can pause for up to three months, just like in the 3.0. That completes my walkthrough of the Teaching Textbooks 4.0 version. We're really excited about it, and we think you're going to be too.